Screen Team Media. Well, this character that I play in the story is a fast-talking chatterbox uh, literary agent who's used to using his mouth to get him out of uh, every problem. He can talk anybody into anything and he can't shut up. I'm not really much of a method actor. I kind of like know what the, what the story is and who the character is and kind of, I like it to be in the moment, you know, mostly. I like uh, to have to, you know, know what the script is, know what the words are and know the subtext in the scene, but still have the freedom to go and improvise and do different stuff. When all the leaves fall off a tree, the tree gets sick and it dies. And that's what's happening with me. It's like uh, this tree represents how many words I have left to say. And I get sicker as the tree gets weaker. And, you know, the, the tree is the ticking clock in our story. I'm connected to the tree completely. So if the squirrels run up the tree, I can feel that. And I try to chop the tree down once, and I get a, get a big rip in my side. And we had a bunch of different stories of what could be being done with the tree. I'd never done a movie where I wasn't, you know, allowed to talk to be funny in it. And, and being, and talking is such a big part of me being funny. It was like, hey, okay, it was like, a, okay, let's put your hands behind the back. Try to be funny without, without, you know, that was a challenge. We're getting a new house and we had a kid and we're going to this new place and, and uh, uh, she, we're, 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 at a, we're at a place in our life where she wants a bunch of answers and we're like going through this new phase in our life and uh, me not being able to talk is coming at the absolute worst time it could possibly happen. I keep hearing how the scenes that he was in was so funny, and, but I can, all I could go by is uh, when I'm in the screening room, I'm looking at how the movie was edited. I thought he was, I thought he was really funny on the set as well. It was a, a joy working with uh, Ruby D, you know, ha having grown up, uh, you know, on her and Ozzy Davis, and you know, just to be in, on, on the set with her. That was I got a big thrill out of that. Yeah, and we got a, just a really great supporting cast of people. I would do the obvious, you know, you'd spend the, the thousand words on your loved ones, you just let your loved ones know how much you love them. You know, that's what I would. Do. Ultimately, just that they have a pleasant evening of laughter, you know. And then afterwards, they, on the way out, they come out and say, you know, that is true. You should watch what you say. That's as deep as we want to go. Let's have a good time. Really, in any of my films, will I have like a favorite scene? Uh, uh, the, the movie works, and if the movie works, that's, that's enough for me. I don't go into plucking out the, the movie, and that's the best scene. <laughs> you know?